Uh, all you will need for this practice today is a chair or a wheelchair. So I invite you to take a comfortable seat in your chair if you're not already there. Think about grounding down through your feet, rooting down through the sit bones, and lengthening the spine. As you inhale, if it's available to you, reach one or both arms up over your head. As you exhale, bring the hands together at heart center. One more time, nice deep breath in. Reach one or both of your arms up over your head. As you exhale, bring the hands together at heart center. Good. Go ahead and just relax your hands on your thighs, keeping that nice elongated position of your spine, allowing the eyes to close or taking the gaze down. We'll start with a couple of cleansing breaths. So when we take a cleansing breath, you're gonna inhale deeply through your nose, and then you're gonna exhale through your mouth a little bit open. I want you to really think about letting all the tension and stress release from your body as you exhale. So all together, nice deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, heavy sigh, let it out. One more time, deep breath in. Exhale, heavy sigh. And one more time, inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. We'll take one hand to the heart, one hand to the navel center. I want you to just observe your breathing for a few moments. Kind of noticing where you feel your breath, whether it's more in the chest hand or the belly hand. Think about relaxing and softening the face and the jaw. Just allow that belly hand to expand outward. So when we breathe into the belly, what happens is that the diaphragm moves down and we're able to get that air exchange way down in the base of the lungs. So it might feel like kind of a different sensation to kind of allow your belly to fill with air or expand but it really allows us to tune into that relaxation breath. So we're gonna do that for about 30 seconds longer, inhaling into the belly hand, nice and long. Try to make your inhale and exhale the same length. And if you're unable to match the length of the inhale with the exhale, maybe try making your exhale just a little bit longer. So inhaling maybe for three or four counts into the belly and exhaling for four to six counts, releasing all the air. Think about letting go of tension, pain, worry. Allowing the face and the jaw to stay relaxed and soft. Continuing to breathe at your own pace. Think about inhaling peace and a sense of stillness, both in the mind and the body. And as you exhale, think about releasing tension, pain, or worry. And continuing to breathe in this way. Inhale, love. Exhale, dislike. Inhale, peace. Exhale, worry. I'm just coming up with maybe a few words or feelings that you're noticing in your body today. Just kind of tuning in and checking in with yourself. So we'll take one more nice deep breath into the belly. And then exhale through the mouth. And just go ahead and let your arms relax down. Just before we get started, set an intention for your practice today. Just coming up with one thing that you'd like to focus on and then taking a moment of gratitude for your body and everything it is able to do for you, no matter what limitations that you have today. On your next inhale, we're gonna go ahead and just start with a few shoulder rolls. So you're gonna start to roll the shoulders up and back, just whatever way is available to you. 
And then we'll start to move them in an up and backwards direction, thinking about broadening across the collarbones and then opening the chest and shoulders. Good, this time we'll start to add the arms if that's available to you. Remember that everything in our yoga practice is an invitation. So if something does not feel comfortable to you, just modify based on what works for you. Let's move them in the backwards direction. All the while keeping grounded down through the pelvis, through the feet if you're able to do that. Good, and then just release the shoulders, maybe ro rolling one at a time if that feels good. And then either just placing the hands on your armrests or if it's available to you, slightly under the thighs. Take an inhale, lengthen your spine. Think about lifting the top of your head up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, you're gonna drop your right ear to your right shoulder, keeping your nose facing forward. Start to feel a little bit of length into the left side of your neck. So it's good to keep this shoulder down so we can start to feel some of that release and stretch into the side of the neck. If it's available to you, you might tip your chin downward. Or you may keep that side bend and tip your chin upward. Breathing into that front and the side of the neck. And then slowly at your own pace, dropping your chin down to the chest. Think about breathing into the back part of the neck now. And then we'll gently draw the left ear towards the left shoulder. So this time keeping the right shoulder down, breathing into the side of the neck here. Just allowing the neck to be long. And maybe tipping your chin down towards that shoulder. or up towards the ceiling. And we'll inhale slowly, drawing the head back up to center. This time, go ahead and just lift your chin up to the ceiling. If you get dizzy or lightheaded doing this, then just return to a neutral spine, starting to breathe into the base of the throat and the front side of the neck here. and then use your exhale to come back to center. Go ahead and sit a little bit straighter in your, your chair, maybe scooting more forward towards the front edge of the chair. I want you to take your hands and put them on the front of your pelvis or kind of wrapping around your pelvis. So we're gonna to start to try to get some movement in the spine that's gonna originate from the pelvis. So thinking about the pelvis as your stable base. So when you inhale, I want you to think about your pelvis tipping forward. So if we imagine the pelvis like a bowl, we're tipping it forward as we sit up straighter. As we exhale, we're gonna tip that bowl back, like you're slouching. That's the only time you'll get to slouch in yoga today. As you inhale, sit nice and tall, tip the pelvis forward. As you exhale, tuck your tailbone under, tip your pelvis. Inhale, sit tall. This is called seated cow pose. As you exhale, tilt the tailbone under, seated cat. So you can just place your hands on your thighs. Inhale, sit tall, maybe drawing the shoulder blades together, opening the heart. As you exhale, round the spine, tuck your tailbone under, chin to the chest, pull your belly in. Couple more times, inhale, sit tall, heart lifts, tip the pelvis forward. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under, round the spine. Inhale, sit tall, seated cow, lift the chin. Exhale, round, seated cat. Good, we're gonna add some arm movements now. As you inhale, if it's available to you, lift those arms all the way up, opening the heart. As you exhale, round and tuck. Think about separating the shoulder blades, pulling the belly in. Inhale, use those arms, lift the heart. Seated cow variation. Exhale, round and tuck, seated cat. Good, one more time, lift. And exhale, seated cat. Good, inhale, lengthen all the way up. This time as you exhale, I want you to drop that right arm down. Reach your left arm up and over for a seated side stretch. 
If it's available to you, you can circle out the wrist or open and close the hand, whatever feels good to you. We're looking for a nice lengthened side body. So starting to feel a stretch all the way down here, grounding down through that left sitting bone. You might even reach for the edge of the chair on the opposite side there. Nice deep breath in, reach both arms up over your head, lengthen both sides of the trunk. As you exhale, your left arm is going to drop down. Your right arm is going to reach up towards the ceiling and then tip over to the left side. This time breathing into that right side body. Keeping your right sitting bone on the chair. Just taking a nice couple deep breaths in and out. Relaxing the face as you breathe. Good, inhale, reach both arms all the way up. As you exhale this time, let your arms come down. We're gonna take the hands and either bring them to the sides of the chair, or if it's available to you, you may bring them to your sacrum, that triangle bone at the bottom of your spine, or even to the back of your hips. I want you to imagine the elbows pointing backwards as you open the collarbones. So we're gonna come out of that rounded shoulder posture, opening up the heart, Pressing our elbows towards the back wall or the back of our chair, broadening across the collarbones and just breathing into that front body. Take a couple nice deep breaths, feel the chest broaden, the shoulders relax. As you exhale, go ahead and release out of it. This time press your hands forward, drop your chin down to your chest, think about rounding out the middle part of your back this time. Like you're hugging a tree or a big barrel, you're wrapping it around your arm, your arms are around it. Separate the shoulder blades, imagine the breath going to that middle space in your back. Breathing deeply here. Good, and go ahead and release down. We're going to start with some wrist circles. So go ahead and circle your wrists out one direction and the opposite direction. And we'll move into straightening the elbows and bending them. So as you inhale, straighten the elbows, maybe the fingertips down towards the floor. As you exhale, curl everything in. Inhale, lengthen it out. Exhale, curl it in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, curl. One more time. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, curl. Good. This time I want you to go ahead and inhale that right arm out. If it's available to you, the elbow is straight. You're going to take that left hand and just gently put some overpressure on the palm of your hand, pointing those fingertips down towards the floor, pressing the front of your forearm forward, giving a little bit of a forearm stretch here. Being mindful that we're not moving into pain or discomfort, but just looking for a little bit of length into the forearms. Good, as you exhale, release. This time, tip the fingers down. So the top of your hand is pointing forward now. Just a gentle overpressure here, don't force it. Feeling a little bit of stretch in the forearm. Breathing as you hold, keeping your spine lengthened. Good, use your exhale to release. Let's switch sides. This time, left arm extends out. Palm facing forward, taking that opposite hand just gently Pressing the fingertips to the floor, breathing and lengthening, stretching out, being mindful to keep that elbow straight as we lengthen the forearm. Good, use your exhale to release this time, tipping the top of your hand forward gently, providing a little overpressure, stretching into that front of the forearm and breathing. Relaxing your face and jaw. If you ever need a break throughout the practice today, just come back to a nice, comfortable seated position and focus in on that belly breathing that we did at the beginning of the practice today. Good. Use your exhale to release. We're going to move into a seated sun salutation here. So we'll take a pause, grab a drink of water.